a few notes about hand gestures. The screen of the iPad is extremely touch sensitive, so pressure is not really a key element to navigating or to activating any of the controls on the screen. Let me demonstrate. When I'm navigating on the screen of the iPad, whether I'm using the flicking motion or the standard just moving my finger around the screen, I want only my index finger and my pointer finger to be making contact with the screen. So all my other fingers should be folded back just so that I'm not making any other hand gestures by accident. So just the tip of my pointer finger will be touching the screen. YouTube. iTunes. App Store. All right. Double contacts. New stand folder. And I'm just sliding my finger. I'm not really pushing down. Jordan. Not really pressing the, uh, anything on the screen. I'm just sliding my finger across the screen. Similarly, when I'm flicking, I'm just flicking one finger. Face top settings, photograph game set, page one. Dot. Right. Notes. And the movement Double is tap to open. the movement is very natural, very soft. It doesn't have to be apply a lot of pressure. I've noticed sometimes that people do tend to apply a little bit more pressure on these devices because they're used to pressing buttons so it makes a lot of sense that people would but what ends up inevitably happening is that sometimes it'll throw the device off not so much the screen but it'll kind of start moving the device on your table or wherever you are so right now I have the device on a stand but if I start flicking but and applying pressure Support mail. Notes, right? Music, My device starts settings, kind of rocking FaceTime, on Instant, its base, contact, and it doesn't make for a very happy user experience or for a very easy user experience. So just lightly contact. swipe, New stand very folder, light, FaceTime. very gentle touches. No pressure is, is required. In a later video of this course, you will be guided to the practice screen for voiceover, which will allow you to perform specific hand gestures and the screen will actually give you feedback as to what that hand gesture does. There will be no feedback on the amount of pressure that's required or the amount of um, pressure that you're applying. So you just need to touch the screen with one finger, two fingers, three, four, or five, and it'll tell you what those hand gestures do, but do not apply too much pressure because it's not necessary. Again, this is up to you the user, but to have an optimum user experience, our recommendation is that you be as gentle with your device as possible. Be kind to your iPad.